into the, the current situation within the, the patriotic front, because people are now anticipating the much-awaited, obviously, uh, convention of the party. But with the sentiments coming through from the acting president now, and his focus being to reorganize the, the party, uh, what does this say uh, from your perspective about putting the party in one accord leading on to this convention? Thank you very much. I think um, the acting vice president is correct, um, uh, saying that he needed to. We need to organize the party. Uh, reading to the uh, convention, he is correct. The party is not together. The party needs to be together. And uh, looking at the way the, the party is pulling, definitely, it's like among uh, patriotic front ourselves, we are acting like uh, you know cooking oil and water. There is a, a, a huge um, confusion within the party that we needed to accept that I think it need to be fixed before we can talk about the convention or get to the convention. Well, when you talk about a lot of talk about this disorganization and confusion, uh, what exactly uh, do you mean? Um, because others would, would still like to believe that the, the, the party structures on the ground uh, are somehow still intact. Uh, you still have members who have um, you know, stuck within the party. Obviously, defections are being abnormal. So what exactly is, is, would, would you regard as disorganized in the party based off the membership, if I to put it that way? Uh, thank you. Um, you see, when you look at the Patriotic Front, Patriotic Front is not, the party is not um, is not only in Lusaka, and the party is not um, uh, the party that you see you read in the blogs and the party that you see you know um, in uh, your your surrounding or your 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 people that you are talking to. The party is far bigger than uh, you know what you think. We have got uh, um, uh, ten provinces around the country. And those 10 provinces have not yet been put together. And we have not actually gone together to start putting the people together and sensitizing them what is happening. There is a danger that we are, you know, we are ignoring. The danger that is being you know, uh, experienced in PF, and I'm going to say it the way it is, I'm going to go around it. This party, if we continue to push it at a level where we are pushing and hoping that in Lusaka it is going to be used to be centered, to be a tribal party, we will not get it anywhere because that's what it is being perceived and ignoring other provinces, ignoring other um, districts and ignoring. We have not done that continuously. We have not done that, you know. There are calls that are coming from the members on the ground. PF, we need to first start on the ground, sensitizing the people on the ground, so that we can have uh, you know, a collective, consultative, inclusive um, consulting towards the convention. Let all the constituencies, all the branches, provinces, and also the, 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 the members on the ground need to understand to say, you know what, where are we going and what are we doing? Right now, yes, we are heading to, um, uh, to, uh, to choose the leaders. But off the record, patriotic front, we are not ready to rush to go and choose. The, we, it's too early. We just lost the election. Mm. And we are still pushing to say we we have not accepted we need to come to terms what has happened the problem we are too hyper we think pf it is the way it is you know if we look at what we are pushing to get the pf to be rebranded and at the rate that we are going pf cannot be rebranded at this rate in this move that we are doing it can't be rebranded it cannot be rebranded Mr. and it cannot be a successful convention mm -hmm. Mr. We Tane, need to come from our horses. You're, you're one of the PF members that has always felt otherwise, you know, about the PF leadership. You know, with the sentiments of the PF acting president on wanting to unite uh, the patriotic front, do you think this could see a turnover in terms of bringing the leadership to unite? That is the first step we should do because the PF is not united. We need to accept that. PF is not united. And we have been lying to ourselves that, you know, um, you know, we are together. We are not together. PF is not together. That is the first step, and that's the right direction to take. And what the about... The PF mm -hmm. need to unite. Okay, so what about the issues of tribalism within the period of front? Some uh, do feel that. Could you just delve more in, into that? 
um, the tribalism in the PF, it is there, and it has just grown wings, bigger than it was. And bigger than, some people, they are hiding, um, they are hiding behind it to say, uh, we came with the late patriotic front president founder, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, Michael Chirufiasaka, we came with. You understand? They are forgetting that uh, this party has got the nation. It was a national ruling party. Even now, if you look at uh, the kind of uh, sentiment that are coming out, some people are very sensitive. It has been perceived to be a tribal party. To some people, even some of our uh, comments that we make, the action that we make, it's like uh, it's a Bemba, sorry to use that, it's like a Bemba block party. And that's how, how it is being perceived. All characterisms that are being presented or shown, it's like he, it's only for the member that can be the patriotic friend or that owns the patriotic friend, which is totally wrong and it's a danger to itself.